Nuclear fission was first observed in 1938 by two German scientists. Remember that average binding energy per nucleon versus the number of nucleons graph? It shows us that those very big nuclei are not very stable because they have lower average binding energy per nucleon. Therefore, they have a tendency to get smaller. Usually, on their own, they would go through series of decays to reduce in size. But in 1938, it was found that a uranium nucleus bombarded by neutrons sometimes produced two nuclei of similar sizes. This process can be explained by the liquid drop model. When a water droplet gets too big due to condensation, it tends to split into two similar sized droplets instead of shedding a little bit of water at a time. This kind of nuclear reaction is called fission, a term borrowed from biology. A cell fissions when it splits into two. Here's a typical example of a fission reaction. See if you can fill in the numbers and balance the equation. To help us balance the equation, we can put in numbers for the neutron. A neutron has a one nucleon and a no proton. So this number here must equal to 1 plus 235, so it's 236. And this one is 0 plus 92, so it is 92. And then over here, we also need 1, 0 to help us balance. So here we have 236 on the top, and it should equal to 141 plus this number plus this will be 3 times 1. So the question mark equals to 92. So this number here must be 92. And down here we have 92 equals to what the number we're looking for plus 36 plus that will be 3 times 0. So the question mark for this equation would be 56. So down here we have 56. In this fission reaction, we have a large nucleus splitting into two mid-sized ones. A fission reaction like this one can release a tremendous amount of energy, and it is how we produce energy in nuclear power plants. Notice that in this fission reaction, one neutron initiates fission of one uranium nucleus. This fission produces three neutrons, and these three can go on and cause three more fissions. And then there will be nine neutrons to cause new fission reactions. This is called chain reaction. In a nuclear reactor, movable control rods with good neutron absorbers are used to control the reaction rate and to avoid runaway chain reactions.